I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the Oliver Buckley Prize winner, Eli Yablonovich. Well, Eli, first of all, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us and a huge congratulations on uh, winning the award. Uh, thank you. I'm uh, greatly honoured. Now, it must have been really exciting to, 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 to win the award. Yes, it's uh, very exciting and uh, it means uh, recognition for my colleagues that all that work, uh, all those years, was actually something that they appreciate. Now, let's talk about uh, all that work over all those years. Uh, what do you think out of your work really caught the uh, judge's eye? Well, I think the biggest thing is the uh, photonic crystal. Uh, the idea that you could have a band structure for uh, photons just like you do for electrons. Uh, that is an idea that actually uh, uh, first came from Lord Rayleigh, but he did it in uh, one dimension 100 years uh, prior to my work. and. For that 100 years, nobody thought of applying uh, the same idea that Rayleigh had, but applying it in two dimensions and three dimensions. And I, I think that's uh, rather surprising. What, what else do you think they, they saw of yours? Well, uh, the, uh, my contributions to uh, solar cells, to photovoltaics, uh, I introduced something called the 4N squared factor that's used in uh, virtually all solar panels worldwide. So I'm uh, very proud of that. The people go by on the train, they see a big field of solar panels. It's right there. A lot of that work uh, sounds quite practical to me because sometimes physics is clearly very theoretical. Uh, right. Uh, my work tends to be on the practical. I like to do something fundamental that turns out to be useful to humanity. And without the useful to humanity, I wouldn't be motivated. Uh, and so I've been uh, very fortunate. But sometimes you discover something is just intellectually beautiful. And uh, it has some applications, but it is just overwhelmed by the intellectual beauty. Uh, what drew you to the, the work on solar cells? Uh, well, the solar cells, that was one of the more practical things. Uh, I looked at it and uh, it seemed like not all the scientific opportunities had been implemented. Uh, some things were left out and the, the performance was not very high. When I started, they said the theoretical limit of solar cells was 17%. And uh, now uh, we just broke a record, 28.8%. So I, I do love to uh, prove others wrong. <laughs> Well, final question is a, a lot of uh, a lot of it is a great conference and a lot of young people come to 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 the conference it's really important isn't it to inspire uh, the the younger generation yes we have to inspire them but society also has to support them one of the things i said in my acceptance speech uh, last night uh, they said well who do you thank well i thank uh, society because uh, they invested a huge amount in me as a young man uh, literally a million dollars just to get my PhD and then continuing over um, literally decades afterward supported by society to do unfettered research to do what I wanted and we need to support the young people so they have that same opportunity that I had. Well thank you very much uh, indeed for joining us and again many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.